Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to run Microsoft Visual Studio IDE inside of a Windows uh, Windows workspace inside of Coder V2. So I'm logged into Coder in the UI in the dashboard. You'll see I have a workspace running called Visual Studio. This was based on a Coder template called AWS Visual Studio. So let me pull up that uh, Terraform template to show you how we define this workspace. So we have a resource AWS instance. Uh, you'll see it's taking the region which we prompted from the user to add that and you'll see the AWS AMI. If I scroll up you'll see I have that specified in here, Windows Server 2019. Um, these are going to be things prompted to the user so they'll be prompted for their region, prompted for their instance types. In this case I did a T3 medium. And then in the coder agent, we have our startup script where we basically turn on RDP, which is going to be the way that we're going to access this from our local machine. And we've, um, we're using a Windows package, uh, package manager called uh, Chocolatey to install a Visual Studio 2022 community. So let's get this out of the way. Let's go into the workspace. Click on it, you'll see the workspace is running. I've surfaced some data like the instant types, region, disk size, things like that. And on the left side, I have my RDP client, but to access this, I need to first have a tunnel. So you'll see on the top left screen, I'm actually running the coder uh, CLI subcommand tunnel, coder tunnel, and then the name of the workspace. Um, the standard port is 3389, but for my local machine, I'm gonna change it to 3301. And then my Microsoft RDP client, if I right click on this and go to the I properties, you'll see I put that port and 127.0.0 because that's what I've um, forwarded traffic to for my workspace and the default user and I have the password stored in there as well. So once I click and connect, uh, you'll see Visual Studio, I'll drag it over here. So I'm inside of my, inside of my Windows machine I have the task manager up and I've already in, and I've already launched Visual Studio and I can go in here and use things and you'll see it has some of the data about this instance such as the IP addresses the zone instant types so, and, and if you want to get access to the template um, I have a public repo called Sharky Mark slash v2 templates if you go down there you'll notice a repo call or a folder called AWS RDP and you'll see the Markdown and the actual TIFF file that I just walked you through. So you could go and use this to create your own instance. Hope this helps.